Hey, this is Robbie here at Preston Auto, hanging out with our best friends here, Victoria and DJ, and we're gonna show you this sick <laughs> as heck Ford Expedition Max, something like that. But since you're out of state and you haven't shopped with us before, I like to let everyone know this is us. We are right here on State Seat. We got a big old sales floor. We have two lots where we have our sedans, trucks, SUVs, detail shop, big old service center that we just built five years ago. So we're an awesome thriving dealership here in the heart of Salt Lake City, but enough of that, no one cares. So let's get on to the walk around of the expedition. So I like to point out every single thing that I can find wrong or good or cool or you know maybe weird with the car when I sent to you. So I'll take it for a drive and well, just point out everything I can. So when we walk around the video, I'm gonna point out any dents, scratches, anything I really see. That way when you get the vehicle, it's exactly as you expect. There are two little marks right there but the rest of the car looks awesome. I don't see any dents or anything there. We got good tread, wheels are good. This does have the rear parking sensors, of course, because it's a limited. Built-in tow package. Automatic doors, automatic, well, lift gate. It does have the mats in here. You got the automatic folding seats. Now this is the cargo area where you store stuff. So there's some light scratches kind of around, nothing too crazy. I mean, it's to be expected if you use the car as you're supposed to. It does beep when it closes, that way your little kids don't have their heads, you know, cut off or nothing crazy. Looks like there is some um, transfer right here. I'm gonna work on my detail department to get that taken off for ya. This is a Thule roof racks, which I don't know if you've ever gone to Thule's website, but those are not cheap. Looks like it's got the power running boards. They do have some marks on the side. Not too crazy, maybe it looks like a kid hit their bicycle on it. A little bit of transfer there where a kid probably opened a door up into something, but it looks like dent free. A little bit of elbow work into it. It looked great. Here's the interior. It does have the rear heated seats, which the kids are going to love. Or, you know, adult friends. I don't know who's going in the car. All the seats are looking in awesome shape. So now I'm gonna pause the video, get back inside, and then I'm gonna do a video for you of us driving it. All right, so DJ's gonna grab the recorder from me. We're gonna hop in, and we're gonna go for a little drive. Now, you may have seen when we first got going, he remote started it. I'm gonna have him hold on to the phone for me here. Now, this does have two high and four wheel drive automatic. Automatic climate control, dual climate control, heated seats, cooled seats. Um, probably a heated steering wheel, let's see. I would assume so, right? Don't show a heated steering wheel, but that's okay. We do have a power steering, that's fine. This does also have adaptive cruise control and adjustable paddles, which is awesome because if you're like me, every car feels cramped and you have to put everything way down. But if you're a normal human being, you will probably want to raise the pedals up a little bit. But either way, whether you're six foot five or I don't know, five foot one, you'll be able to drive this. Now we do just drive over a metal grate right there, so I don't want you to think the car is making some banging noises. That's just our grate. I'm gonna step on the gas really hard. <laughs> this thing's got a good amount of pickup, and I'm hitting the brakes hard. Woo! All right, so the reason I do that, feel the transmission shifting, feel if everything's good there, which it was. And also just um, feel how the brakes feel when I hit the brakes. There's no pulling, no pulsating. So the rotors, your brake pads, those are all good. I wouldn't suggest doing that if you're dropping off the kids for soccer practice, but when you're testing on a car, it's kind of necessary. So I'm waving the car back and forth now. Steering is nice and tight. I'm gonna roll down the window and we're gonna hit these dips kind of hard. Now the reason I hit those dips is to see if there's any clunking or cranking or anything from the suspension. I did notice earlier when I opened up the passenger door that the step that I said it looked like some kid may have ran their bike into um, didn't want to come down. So I believe that's something that we're getting taken care of. And that was the little bit of popping noise when I went over that bump. But I did not feel it in the steering, which tells me that my suspension is nice and tight. 
So aside from that, whether you're coming from out of state or not, once we get those things taken care of, we could take another video for you showing you that they are all taken care of and hopefully we can make this work for you. If there's anything else you need, let us know. Have a good rest of your day.